Toon Boom Studio makes it very easy to create line art, but of course you don't have to draw in the computer if you don't desire. In another lesson, I talked to you about how to scan in your artwork, so if you're like me, who is more comfortable drawing traditionally than on the computer, you'll be fine. So I just want to take some of the pressure off some of you guys who are a little bit worried about having to draw everything in the computer. But you will learn very easily as long as you practice, as with anything in life. I also suggest if you're going to draw line art in the application itself to invest in a digital tablet and a stylus. It will make your life a lot easier in my opinion because it just feels more natural to draw with a pen than a mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my brush here and I'm just going to just go ahead and start drawing. I'll draw up just a profile right now of a witch. So I'll just go ahead and draw the forehead there and a little bump on the nose. And you don't have to draw one continuous line, by the way. You can draw as many different lines as you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the lip and I'll give her this really mean smirk and give her a couple of wrinkles there as I go along. I mean, she's a witch, so she's kind of, kind of old. And I'm going to give her this big chin. And what you would normally do, of course, is draw the eyes on a separate layer or an element so you can animate those separately. But I'm going to just draw this one big picture. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to make a couple of mistakes so that I can show you how to just erase with the eraser tool. And I'll just go ahead and give her some crazy hair. And, of course, her hat would be up there. So I'll just go ahead and stop here and show you that if you messed up at all, like I did in this ear region, what you could do is grab your zoom tool and click on that area a couple times grab your eraser and just go ahead and get rid of that part and zoom back out again just hold the option or alt key on the keyboard and click when you see the negative sign in the magnifying glass to zoom back out of course you can always go to view menu and choose reset view to go back to the centered view and you can continue your drawing from there what I like to recommend is that when you do draw, try to make the lines connect so it's a little easier for you when you want to fill it in with a color later on. And don't worry, I talk about how to use the paint bucket tool later, but I'm just going to grab a color very quickly from my color palette, and I'll just click and make sure that it fills in. Once again, if it doesn't fill in, I'll show you how to use the uh, Close Gap tool in an upcoming lesson as well. Another thing about the tools here is that if you want to make sure that all the lines you draw are going to be connected and if they're not just go to your tools menu and choose tools draw top layer and that will make everything you know connect when you're trying to draw it's very handy although I often draw it without it on it doesn't really make much of a difference as far as what I'm trying to do when I'm drawing so once again what you could do is you can draw your art traditionally and then take a brush and ink or a nice marker and I recommend by the way getting a, a, a set of markers that have a variable width so you can draw thin and thick lines make sure your lines are connected if you're drawing on paper get a nice scanner and uh, you know scanners don't cost anything these days like a hundred bucks or less sometimes and scan in about 400 dpi and I'll talk about scanning later don't worry about that as well I'm gonna have a whole movie on the scanning technique so you can then take your line art into the application and by the way you can also choose to trace your artwork in any number of vector art programs as well so if you want to draw in pencil and then take it into Illustrator for example trace over your artwork you can always save that artwork in a format that Toon Boom would understand so you're never really locked out of getting your artwork into the computer there's always a way that you can create line art to work with in Toon Boom Studio